Hey, welcome back to another Friday family meal. Today we're gonna make chicken to peel, but we're gonna look, we're gonna cheat and make it quick. We're gonna look like a champ. All you have to do, take two chicken breasts, or you can take any piece of chicken as your choice. Have one. My family is small, so I'm gonna have two. Right, you can take it straight out of the bag, just like so. We're gonna wash our hands real quick. And here's what we're gonna do next. Ooh, ah. Cooking spray. I'm using a pressure cooker, so this is gonna take less than 30 minutes. You can use a, you can use a, uh, a slow cooker. Set on high for four hours, you could be just fine. One jar of salsa, any of one of your choice. Dump that in. How much? Depends on the size of your family. I'm just using half of mine. Lay in the two pieces of chicken breast, just like so. Just a hand of chicken. Always gotta wash your hands really well. You don't wanna have salmonella. Can't look like a champ if everybody's sick in your family. I'm gonna add another variety of salsa, just for a little extra. Put a lid on. Here I'm using my pressure cooker, so that's gonna take me less than 30 minutes to do so. And I'm gonna go ahead and press start on that. Lunch will be ready. But for your slow cooker, four hours on high, and you'll be set and ready to go. Shred it, put in quesadillas, on top of nachos, your choice. Or put them inside the tortillas, put some enchilada sauce on it, and now you can have different tastes for the meal. So after half an hour now, let's come over here and let's take a look. I open up the pressure cooker. You can look inside here. You can see how tender the chicken is, is breaking apart. Okay, so now that we have our chicken and I shred it so that it looks something like this, right? So I'm gonna show you how to put it all together. This one, I'm gonna make a nachos out of it. So here I have some chips, right? I use donkey chips because it's crunchy. I like the color of it, I like right around the salt, okay? I'm gonna put some cheese down first for the first layer. Then I'm gonna take my chicken. I'm gonna dress it up on here like so. Yummy. Then I'm gonna add some more cheese on there because who doesn't like cheese, okay? So then I'm gonna pop it in the oven on broil, I have it on high. Broil, I'm gonna go start. And I'm gonna check back on it in about less than two minutes. Okay, because it get very, very hot real quick. Now over here, I made a little roasted corn salsa. What I did was I took two ears of corn, I put it on the stove, I put it on the grill, and I get some color out of it. So not only is it gonna cook it, but it's also gonna add a little charred flavor to it. In here, I have some green onions, just one of it, and I chop it up. And then I have some sprigs of cilantro and the red, just a little bit of red bell peppers for some color. Yummy. So here, I'm gonna cut the corn just into the bowl, just like so. I want to add a little heat, so I roasted some jalapeno pepper. Mm. So you can see this charred there to give me some more smoke flavor. I'm gonna peel the skin off. Now, when you roast the jalapeno, it's gonna get like really extra spicy because the oil, the capsicum oil, is gonna get heat up and it's gonna get activated, and that's where you get a lot of the heat come from that surrounds the seeds. Now I'm gonna add some of that into my salsa. Wash my hands a little bit. 
a couple grind of salt, some lemon, some lime juice, and squeeze that in there. I feel like it needs a little more. So I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more lime in there. Let me get a spoon. That's gonna taste so good. Stir that up. So that way the, the lime juice, the salt, season everything. Okay. Now I'm gonna check on my Nachos, you can see that the cheese is starting to melt a little bit there, so I'm gonna let it go for a little bit more. All right, now I'm gonna pull the cheese out. Then now I'm gonna dress it so that that way you can see what the final product look like. I have my corn salsa that I'm gonna pull right on top a little bit here. I have half an avocado. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna score it inside here. Very carefully. And then I'm gonna take my spoon. I'm gonna scoop out the avocado so that it go right on here. My son likes to have black olives, so I can sprinkle some of that on there. For me, I like a little tomato. So now I cut up some tomatoes and here's what the final product looks like. And tell me who wouldn't want to eat that. <laughs>